You don't deserve how they treated you. You do not deserve what they did to you. Because you did not even ask for it in the first place. You did not desire to be in that position in the first place. And you do not deserve what they did to you. It's all shades of wrong. What they did to you is all shades of wrong. When God gave me this prophetic word, he led me to the story of Jephthah in the Bible. The Bible says he was born out of... His father did not get married to his mom. He was an illegitimate child. And so some, at some point in his life, he, his brothers rallied and sent him away from home because they did not want to share the inheritance of their father with him. What was Jephthah's crime? Did he ask for that kind of situation? Did he, did he ask to be born? So now God was telling me that because he was in that situation, he did not give up. He did not, he did not you know, throw a pity party and give up on himself. No. The Bible says he decided to gather vain men around him and he built a mighty army. He was so great that he became indispensable. There was a time the whole of Israel counted on him for deliverance. And God is saying, yes, it is true that what they did to you is wrong. It is true that they didn't treat you right. But are you going to give up? Are you going to just sit there and cry over your life and feel miserable? Or you're going to wake up and take advantage of your situation and become something great. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I pray that God is going to empower you to live above the circumstances of your life in the name of Jesus. God will empower you to become great regardless of how you are treated by others. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you abundantly. Shalom.